We are here today with Christian Kirksey for a new series called Five Things That You Don't Know About Me. Chris is the first one up because of the off season that he's had. I've seen him out there living out loud, guaranteeing that the Browns are going to make the playoffs, and uh, he's just kind of all over the place setting the tone for the Cleveland Browns this summer. So welcome, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Uh, okay, so Chris, uh, there's so much going on in your life, and there's so many things about you that people don't know. So uh, what's the first thing that people don't know about you? Uh, the first thing that people don't know about me, I think, is that uh, I'm a music guy. I love music, and I've been playing the drums since I was seven years old. Uh, me and my brother, um, we was actually the musicians of my dad's church. And, uh, you know, he told me once I'm done playing football, maybe get a chance to be his drummer in his band. So uh, that's probably the first thing I don't think people really know about me. Well, that's awesome. Now, can you get together with uh, Chad Thomas here, who's, uh, who's also into the, the music biz, and do something? We already got some stuff up my sleeve. So uh, we talked about it, talking about getting to the studio. So we, we'll see. We, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So someday I'll be paying, uh, buying a ticket to one of your concerts? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have a concert, but I'm, I may be a, a, a featured guest. That's awesome. Okay, um, number two, the second thing that people don't know about you. The second thing that people don't know about me is that, um, hmm, I love to travel. Um, and one thing that I want to do is travel to like an island or something like that, and I want to go skydiving with me. One, at least one time in my life I want to go skydiving. What's the best? What's the best place or the uh, the best location you've ever visited? The best location, as far as like like scenery. Yeah, just, um, what's your, what's your favorite place? The best place that I've been so far is Thailand. Uh, we went to uh, Bangkok. We went to Chiang Mai. We went to Phuket, and in Phuket we went to Monkey Island. Got a chance to pet the monkeys. Uh, went snorkeling. Uh, went zip lining across the mountains and all of that stuff. So it was a lot of fun. What about hang gliding in Switzerland? Would that interest you? Uh, that, that, that really might. I, I'm going to have to think about that. I, 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 saw, uh, I saw an episode of, on uh, one of Will Smith's page, an uh, Instagram page, and I think September 25th he's going bungee jumping in the Grand Canyon. Uh, that's something that <laughs> I don't know if I do bungee jumping, but skydiving is a little bit better, but I think that would be super lit. Finish your Browns career, Chris, before you do any of these crazy oh, for things. Sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Just kidding. Let me tell you get a older. Yeah. Okay, number three. What is the third thing that people do not know about Christian Kirksey? The third thing is that I'm like a fashion guru. I love fashion. Um, I love to dress. Uh, I love to, you know, look good. Um, I'm getting into hats now, like the fedora hats. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be my next little, little look. So um, I'm, I'm really into fashion. Well, you know who else is into fashion on this team, don't you? Yes, Tyrod Taylor. Did I read your mind? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. So, so have you and, and Tyrod talked some fashion yet? Yeah, yeah, we talked some fashion, uh, especially when he this offseason he's doing a lot, of, uh, a lot of traveling. I look on his Instagram page, you know, uh, he's he's in Paris, he's doing uh, different things. So, uh, we always talk fashion. Uh, we talk about just like different designers and things like that. So, uh, you know, we, his locker is like right next to mine. So, uh, we, we stay talking about that in the locker room. I was in Paris at the exact same time as Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, we were like just missing each other at the Louvre and different things like that. So, <laughs> yeah, it was it was kind of funny. Um, so, is there a fashion label, uh, the the Kirksey Taylor fashion label in your future? I don't know. That might that might have to happen. You know, uh, especially uh, getting a chance to know him a little bit more. You know, maybe come out with a with a fashion line. Who knows? Wow, you are a, a very interesting person. I'm sure people did not realize all of this. Um, so. We're on to number four. I think we're on number four, aren't we, Chris? What is the fourth thing that people do not know about you? The fourth thing that people don't know about me is that I'm the baby of seven siblings. And growing up with seven siblings, uh, it's a lot of fun. But I kind of got a little bit of baby that had everybody, you know, looking out for me, uh, making sure I did the right things. But uh, I'm, the, I'm the baby of seven siblings. I'm the only one, uh, obviously, to play in the league. I went the furthest away to school. And I'm, I'm the tallest out of all my siblings. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm the baby of the family as well, yeah. and I think we're pretty special, the baby of the family, don't you think? I, I think so. I think so. I think you have that, that, that sweet love, that different love, the special love. So, um, like I said, you got everybody looking out for you and uh, just making sure you stay on the right path. And tell me about uh, some of your older siblings. What, uh, you know, what do you, what's it like when you go home for a, a Thanksgiving or whatever? Oh, it's nothing but love. Uh, last year, that came to my house out here in Cleveland. Wow. 
and because um, I had just bought a house out here, and um, they just wanted to make sure uh, it was there with, with a lot of warmth and open arms. Um, and you know, my sister, she's an awesome cook. She's an awesome dancer. Uh, my brother, he's one of the best with uh, working with cars. Uh, he's in the mechanic field. Uh, my second oldest brother, uh, he's coming out uh, with a lot of different gospel tracks. Uh, he played acoustic guitar. Uh, he sings gospel. Uh, my brother, he's one of the best designers uh, as far as like web design. He actually made my uh, Kirk Oland logo. And uh, you know, I just got a lot. Of, a lot of my siblings, they, they're all doing good things. So. Well, this is a very talented family. Your your father would be very, very proud of all of you, right? Yes, yes, he'd definitely be proud. I know he's looking down on it and smiling, and uh, you know, just, just you know, wishing uh, the best for us. All right, we are up to number five. Number five. The fifth thing that people do not know about you. The fifth thing that people don't know about me is that before I even started playing football, I wanted to be a boxer. Wow. Yes, I wanted to be a boxer. Uh, my dad, he used to box uh, recreational. Um, he actually showed me the gym that he used to box at uh, when he was younger. And also my uncle, he did uh, some boxing too. And I just remember uh, asking my dad, like, hey, what you think about me boxing? He's like, nah, uh, I don't think I want you to go in that direction. So, uh, you know, I picked up the football when I was seven years old and uh, never turned back. Well, there's a couple of other guys on this team that have some experience with boxing. Do you know who those are? No, who who has some experience? Um, Alonzo Highsmith. Okay. And um, and Jabril Peppers. Jabril? Yeah. He be boxing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, see, I do I do uh, MMA training uh, during the off season, and really none of the kicks, just all the all the hands and stuff. So uh, I really got a kick out of that, and that's that's kind of like my boxing life right there. That's awesome. Well, I hope everyone learned a lot about Christian Kirksey today. I know I did. These are five things. I knew a little bit about a few of them, uh, but now we know a lot more, and I hope you enjoyed it.